Hello guys and welcome back. In this video I wanted to talk about a shading node called Dirt Mask and this is something that we can uh, use to create uh, similar masks to what we did to isolate the edges and stuff like that. So uh, this is something new in Houdini 15.5 and the node is called Dirt Mask. I'm going to create one and I'm going to simply connect it to the color. Let's go to the render and hit render and we should see that the result coming up shortly. Uh, this node is a little bit heavier because it does pr uh, it does something similar to an occlusion call, so it's it's not that fast, um, but it can produce some interesting results. So you can see now it's quite noisy. Let's increase the maximum distance to 0.5. Cool, and uh, maybe 0.2. And let's invert that. Well, so you can see it's similar to an occlusion, uh, an occlusion shader. Let's do point And it has two modes, uh, two different uh, sampling modes, hemisphere and fan. And fan is uh, generally faster because the it doesn't do, the ray doesn't travel and doesn't occupy the whole hemisphere, so it's just a smaller hemisphere and generally produces sharper, uh, sharper details. And it's basically a curvature map. If you can, you can think of it as a curvature map. Let me reverse the colors. And we can use it to drive uh, shading. So let's do that. Let's do layer mix between this and let's make a copy. Let's connect this. Uh, we need a compute lighting node to connect the struct this uh, to the output. So VSTF, that, and that. And let's connect this to the mix. Let's take a look at the color. We still have we still have the bump going, so we'll keep that. It's fine. And let's change this color to red. Cool. And now we're mixing the two BRDFs. Let's give it a rusty color. Something like that. And let's turn off the reflection from this uh, from this BRDF. Cool. So this is another way uh, to do something similar to uh, like we did in in week five, uh, uh, week four in terms of shading. But again, this node is a little bit slower, and it may not be able to isolate the masks, the the edges the same way we did because the edge the round edges uh, work specifically on edges and sharp corners. So with this one, we're not going to get the same control. But it's another thing to look into. If you guys wanted to try it out, you can. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.